What's good, everybody in the building, man? It's your boy, Tony D2 Wild, checking in once again, back with the bank of the day, guys, with the Air Jordan Retro March 2024 preview. Um, going to be a very big month this year. We already popped things off today with the Jordan 5 Olive, which, for the most part, I want to see. Let's let's just check and see. I I, I would I think they're still sitting on the website. Like I I kind of suspected. I mean they they sold fairly well in my opinion. But uh well well damn they don't seem to be on sneakers. Let me see. Soul play. Let's see. couple sizes available on there so uh, as i expected they they did fairly well for the most part i mean there's some sizes lingering and i think over time they'll eventually sell off maybe with a 10 or 20 percent off discount just like how the burgundy fives did um but yeah I mean, we got through february finally at 29 days of february that leap year it felt very long bro february felt extremely long but let's get straight into march's uh 2024 preview let's get it Pop things off, March 1st, we already had the Jordan 5 low, or Jordan Jordan 1 low, 85, my bad, Metallic Navy, these dropped, um, these also were shoes that kind of lingered as well, I'm gonna see this full size, almost run, almost a couple of sizes here and there out over on Soul Play, but for the most part, these kind of sat, and I already kind of knew that for the fact that they were going below retail in the secondary market. So March 1st, we had the shoe, which was the 85 low. And then March 2nd, we had the Jordan 5 Olive. Now, funny thing, and let me just tell y'all, maybe these, I'm pretty sure they sold out now, but the NBA store actually had the Jordan 5s uh, at 210, which was wild. Um, ooh, even Slam Jam 210. Is that true? So there's a little bit of a discrepancy going on on these prices, 210 right here. So 210 is what they were. And then I even heard people say they were initially 210 and then the prices got raised up to 225. So that's what happens when you remove that MSRP on the box. So several sites got them currently at $210. Some get them at 225, just like Soul Play, for instance, has theirs at 225. So very weird release in general, but it came, it went, and it's done now. So moving along. Next up, we got March 5th, the Jumpman Jack, the Jordan Jumpman Jack. So a little, little bit of a little thing about this, right? I actually should have had these shoes by now. Um, still waiting on them. Maybe Monday I might see them. They are going to be releasing, I guess, on Tuesday from what they're saying. Me personally, though, I think that these may get pushed back for the fact that there isn't anything on these currently anywhere else. Now, this news of them releasing is on a lot of spaces being released so far on March 5th. I mean, you see Sneaker News talking about it, but as far as like sneakers, like there's no actual launch of anything on it upcoming right now. So it would be kind of weird unless they're just going to drop it as some sort of straight up quick strike of some sorts. But it just it this doesn't seem like that might be the case. It seems like. We're going to be getting these a little bit of a pushback at the end of the day. So stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, stay on on par. More than likely, though, these will be releasing this month. But I'm not too sure if they're going to be releasing on the 5th right now at this point. Due to the fact that we're not seeing any official news for a shoe that's supposed to be releasing on Tuesday. That's a little too soon for a shoe that, that of this, of this magnitude. Next up, we got March 6th. We have the uh, Jordan 1 Dusted Clay, which is on a Wednesday. I actually should have a review out on this um, by Monday. I filmed it already. I just got to edit it. So that should be dropping on Monday. Very lovely looking shoe. Very nice looking shoe. A women's shoe, to be more specific. Um, is this even on here as well? Does it say March? Was it March 6th? I don't even see this up. Here it goes. March 6th um and 200 dollars, and i believe these are so far from what i'm seeing extended sizes so i've seen up to size 14 being sold on secondary markets so it's going to be a shoe that a lot of people are going to get their hands on even at the 200 dollars price point they still are selling right now for 250 in the secondary market right now so it might be a shoe that's going to do fairly well when it comes to ones when the ones you know for the most part have uh my damn mic was damn low ones for the most part though have uh not been doing too well forgive me for my audio uh, i raised it up maybe i can in edit i'll probably be able to fix it in post but yeah dusted clays next up march 9th 
Jordan 1 Airship, or Jordan Airship, my bad, the Jordan Airship Awake NY. We uh, review these as well on the channel. These are releasing the next Saturday, so a week from the day. Um, 150 last time I checked, March, this is March 9th here, but then March 13th down here. So, I don't know. Oh, US. So we gotta wait, we gotta just wait and see on this one then, because Awake is dropping it on the 9th. So more than likely, Awake will drop it on the 9th on next Saturday, and then I guess worldwide release will be on the following Wednesday. That sounds about right. I've already told you before how they do it. They let the, the store that's doing the collab get that first eat so they can sell out, and then they just dump the rest on everybody else and you know make some motion. So that's more than likely what's gonna happen here. But I really do like these shoes, my reviews up. To, if you want to learn more about it, I, I really do like, though, what they did with this particular release, in my opinion. It's really nice. Then we have, damn, that's next Saturday, so I got to get this video out, too. Like, I might have to drop this on, damn. This is going to be dropping on Tuesday, Wednesday. I, I already seen these. These are nice as well. This is a women's shoe as well. The Cell Metallic Gold, very, very good quality materials. Very, very good shoe. $210 on the price point, which is uh, was, which is stupid, but uh, these might these might move at that price, bro. These might move at that price. Being all honest, we know how fours are. There has been some fours that didn't do too well. For instance, the olives, which I thought were going to sell out instantly. I think they were two twenty-five though. If I maybe I'm wrong, but they were a little bit more. I feel like they were more expensive than the typical ten price. This is a typical four price. This is a little bit more above it as well, though, at the two ten. But these are nice. These are very very nice at the end of the day. So it seems like we're getting back to back to back releases each and every week, um, each and every Saturday. Jordan 3 uh, Green Glow. I want to say I dropped them. I got them early on these. So the review on this should be dropping. More than likely, I'm going to drop that next week as well. So this is releasing not this set, upcoming Saturday. Ne next Saturday would be more specific. But the Saturday after. Um, cool shoe, but a pass for me. What it looks like on my... I got the calendar right here, right? So what it looks like we're going to be having dropping on the channel. Monday, we'll have a Jordan 1 Dust Dusted Clay. Tuesday, I'll have that Jordan 4. Got them early with some other um, early shoes. And then, more than likely, uh, Wednesday, we'll pull out the Green Glow review. So, we're going to have reviews. We're going to have videos dropping throughout. We've been we've been busting, busting that thing open. And hopefully, we can bust that thing open over here as well. But, Green Glow, cool. You know, it's, of course, a old school colorway on the Jordan 4 being brought to the Jordan 3. Moving on up, Jordan 14 Stealth. I did not know nothing about these whatsoever. Ever releasing releasing in the middle of the week too, so a midweek release on a Wednesday, March 20 of 210. These are nice. I, I, I for some reason I feel like this shoe's re, this shoe's released before, but maybe I don't know. Maybe it hasn't. I just have a feeling like this like this looks like a, a, a old release of some sort that's coming back. I had to dive more into it, but you know it's a nice colorway, neutral colorway, but it's one of those shoes that we're just gonna see this, especially at 210. I don't see people jumping on this that's just my opinion trophy rooms now i believe trophy room actually dropped their pairs i've I seen them drop their pairs so i guess we're getting or i'm not gonna say i've seen them drop pair. i've seen people wearing them i've seen tweets and stuff so i don't know maybe they did do the actual drop at trophy room exclusively or something but i've been seeing these now floating around more and more people were doing reviews people having pairs on the feet and all that so I, I, I ain't gonna lie, I gotta do my little bit of my research on that as far as these release, but I'm more than likely gonna lean to the fact that I think they did release. So March 21st, maybe a worldwide release of some sorts or something. I'm trying to think though, did we get something in my brain? I'm gonna pull this off to the side because I need to see like... I'm just trying to think, do, do, has there been a trophy room release that has sold outside of trophy room it, uh, itself and i don't think so i think everything's been straight up out of trophy room i'm thinking i'm just the reason why i'm confusing it because i have a trophy room seven from someone that salutes my man i, I don't know if you want to be said uh, just for kicks he, he he got me a pair he uh proxied me a pair so yeah i don't even know why i'm over here I'm at, okay yeah these are cool though but pass I'm, I'm over the satin one phase on jordan's right now like been there done that cool nice but cool powder blue nines dropping march 23rd this might be a shoe that i can get behind in all honesty 210 is a lot this is a classic colorway though 
um i'm for it man so i'm all for classics classics definitely make me do a little bit of different dance at the end of the day um at the same time bro i had a space jam nine and i sold it to gucci salutes to gucci i kind of feel bad about getting rid of that pair like, i, I kind of look back I'm like damn i really get i got rid of those like those were like the oh that's like the first done data you know jordan nine of that the colorway of that jordan nine these are you know some of those as well og colors these and then we of course got olives coming out a little bit later on in the year but i definitely am probably going to read these up and re-up these on, on these and, and and keep them for a little bit you know and hopefully maybe down the road not sell maybe maybe not sell the next space jam 9 that comes out another jordan airship with that same so they utilize that same sale bottom right here on this pair these are cool but oh it's an my year collab okay 150 Cool seeing Amon Manier mess with some different colors. But another collab. Amon Manier, man. I mean, some of this stuff been hitting the miss. You seen what, you know, you saw what happened with the social statuses, which is also, um, I, I, I always get it mixed up. Somebody's going to correct me in the comment section. One or the other. I want to say that social status is the, let's just get the facts. Let's just get the facts. That way I don't have to deal with the comments. You know, if, if you feel what I'm saying? Let's see. I'm on Manier. I'm on Manier is owned by James Whitner and uh, and and uh, yeah, James Whitner owns I'm on Manier and so and so I'm on Manier and social status. But I was just trying to make sure like who which one was the parent company. That's all I'm trying to figure out. I got. I got to figure it out now. The Whitaker Group. I think they're just separate. But I remember our, their sister companies. I want to say maybe they're sister companies and not parent. Like a, one's a parent company. Yeah, the Whitaker. The uh, Whit, Whitaker Group is the company for All My Many Years, Social Status, APB, and Prosper. So there you go. They're sister groups for the most part. The parent company to All My Many Years, Social Status. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I just want to make sure, man. That's all. Got to get my facts straight for the comments come kill me. But yeah, these are cool. I mean, we'll see how they do though. I'm, I'm a, I mean, I'm not going. I'm not going stupid for them. I, I'll review it, but I ain't. I ain't keeping it. Next up, Air Jordan Two Low Women's Black slash Off White. Not Off White. The collab though. These are duds. March 27, 150. I'm tired of Jordan Two Lows. Yes, you can call me a hypocrite for liking the multiple colorways of Jordan Ones, but. Jordan 1s and Jordan 2s are just two different shoes at the end of the day, okay? So, it is what it is. Okay, but that's it. That is it. Damn, when is the... So, wait, when is the Military Blues drop? Is that April? I thought that was March. I ain't gonna lie. That must be April then. It is April. Damn, we got one more month for them. Them, them boys gonna shake up the world, boy. They gonna shape, shake up the world. But, uh, yeah, man, there is the uh, March preview. 2024. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. All right. We out. Peace.